Hi Taurus, this is your September 26th or October 2nd weekly tarot reading. I do five separate spreads in my weekly readings. Well, I have a spread on new love, a separate spread on love and an existing relationship or marriage. I'll do an X spread. We'll talk about your work, your business and your finances and we'll see what you're not expecting to happen this week. Please like, share and subscribe to support this channel. This first spread is a new love this week. Uh, we have the King of Wands clarified by the Page of Pentacles. We have the Nine of Cups clarified by the Queen of Pentacles. Then we have the Two of Cups. In the potential outcome, we have the Knight of Cups um, with the, the Hierophant and the Star. And we also have the Ten of Pentacles on the bottom of the deck. You could be dealing with a Fire sign, Aries, Dear Sagittarius, or a Water sign, Cancer, Scorpio, or Pisces, or an Aquarius, or even another Taurus. Um, this is a wish come true. Wish granted spread. <laughs> Taurus, it is. It could be somebody you have had your eye on for a while, um, or when this person shows up in your life, you'll be like, oh my god, this is everything I ever wished for. As a matter of fact, this person looks like they just came, came off a billboard. <laughs> my favorite billboard. Right? That's what it kind of feels like. There's two wish come true cards in the tarot deck and both of them are on the table. The Nine of Cups, the third card from the left, is one of them and uh, the star right next to the deck is the second one. And what's interesting about the Nine of Cups, you see it? It's clarified by the Queen of Pentacles. That's uh, you. <laughs> well, it, it could be mutual. It could be mutual. If this person is already in your life and uh, this is somebody you ride in an elevator all the time or you meet them at the grocery store you or, or you meet this person at a building you work at you know uh, i think they've had their eye on you as well because it is mutual or it will very quickly become mutual all right so anyway we got the king of ones the first card that came out as a matter of fact that card jumped as i was shuffling yep uh, most likely a fire sign aries the or sagittarius if they're not a fire sign it could be somebody who is with an initiative somebody who is easy to get up and go you know this person could be a leader in your community anyway and they're clarified by the page of pentacles so here they come and uh, the page of pentacles to me personally is the most serious page out of all four pages i don't mean to belittle the other three pages but the page of pentacles always talks about somebody who is looking uh, for long term yes they're still gonna do the usual <laughs> they'll still give you flowers take you out to romantic dinners and this and that but they're looking for someone to settle down with um, the page of pentacles could also be something tangible so they may uh, start off with, hey, I've got tickets to this concert or a game or a show. Would you like to come with me? You know, something like that. And uh, like I said, the next card that came out is the Nine of Cups. And uh, it's a wish come true, wish granted card. And it's clarified by you, right? The, the Queen of Pentacles, that's you, male or female. Absolutely, it doesn't matter. And then, bam, here comes the Two of Cups. <laughs> the Two of Cups in the middle is a soulmate card. It's a card of unconditional love. It's a card of two people seeing eye to eye. Two people on the same page. Two people feeling the same way towards one another. And that feeling is love. Among many other things, it's definitely love. In the potential outcome, we have the Knight of Cups with the Hierophant and uh, the Star, and we also have the Ten of Pentacles on the bottom of the deck. So yes, there's definitely a commitment uh, towards. Towards, you're an Earth sign, perhaps you're not really used to things unfolding really quickly, uh, but I do believe that it will, you know, you guys will hit the ground running. You will. You will. Okay? Uh, the Knight of Cups could be a, a water sign, Cancer, Scorpio, or Pisces, but the Knight of Cups is like the uh, extension of the Two of Cups. It's the most romantic night out of all four nights. Uh, so, yeah, there's definitely a lot of love. A lot of love between the two of you. Right? Then we have the Hierophant. The Hierophant is actually also your card, just like the Queen of Pentacles. Right, that's your major arcana card. But if we want to stay general, you know, some of you may already know the same card could be interpreted in multiple ways, even in the same spread. So the Hierophant is also a card of something traditional, like a committed relationship or marriage. It's also a very spiritual card. So you're connecting with this person on multiple levels. Um, the star right next to the deck, like I already mentioned, it it is the second wish come true card. Uh, Grish granted card. It could also be an Aquarius, right? And uh, the Ten of Pentacles on the bottom of the deck is definitely a commitment and marriage card. Very solid, rock solid type of deal with this person, right? This is when people buy real estate together, they grow old together, have children together, if that is still an option for them. They enjoy financial stability, financial abundance together. So yeah, I'm not going to do an extended for you. Taurus, this is a very straightforward reading. 
like I said, it's a wish come true. The only twist to this story, like I said, if this is somebody who is already in your life or when this when uh, this person drops out of the blue sky, you'll be like, wow, this is everything I ever wished for. This is exactly how I pictured it. And the things they say and do is exactly how I imagined it. <laughs> this is a wish granted. Really happy for you, Taurus. <laughs> Congratulations. Taurus, if you are already married or if you're in a relationship, this spread is for you. We have the Nine of Swords clarified by the Moon. We have the Nine of Pentacles, the Knight of Pentacles, and the Five of Pentacles on the bottom of the deck. I think you guys are stressed out about your financial situation this week. Uh, but uh, I believe it's going to be corrected. Right, some of you, if you, uh, if you or your significant other applied for a new job, you could be stressed out about that. That they're not gonna um, extend you an offer. But I, if that's the case, then the offer is coming. For others of you, uh, perhaps uh, you applied for government assistance and you're stressed out about that. It's coming your way. Or perhaps you're afraid that you're not gonna get paid for something you already did. Money is coming in. Okay, we do have the Knight of Pentacles right, right next to the deck, and it's the last card that came out, and the Nine of Pentacles right next to it, the first card, um, I mean the, uh, the card in the middle, is a really good card. Right? So, but we do have that Five of Pentacles on the bottom of the deck, and uh, in this case, since we got so many Pentacle cards, I think this is a uh, you know, uh, financial situation uh, that is, is not doing so great. Right? Um, the Nine of Swords, clarified by the Moon, all the way to your left. This is this is you guys are stressing about this, literally stressing out. The Moon could be a Pisces you're dealing with, but the Moon is one of the most emotional cards in the deck, and it's a card of fear, right? And since it's clarifying the Nine of Swords, it's like an amplifier of that Nine of Swords. So you're like really stressed out. But again, it's all coming your way, all coming your way. The only um, suggestion I have for you is. Don't take this spread for granted. If you still have to do something or follow up or keep doing something, keep doing that. Right? Follow up, reach out, or keep applying for other jobs and uh, or keep applying for other assistance. And uh, it will eventually it will come your way this week. All right? Cool. Let's see if anybody comes back from the past for you, uh, Taurus, this week. Keep in mind, uh, it could be somebody from a couple of months ago, a year ago, or a couple of years ago, so it doesn't have to be the most recent X. Also keep in mind, we still have quite a few planets in retrograde, including our beloved Mercury. <laughs> this is when more Xs than usual tend to resurface. I've got Judgment. We have the Chariot, clarified by the Wheel of Fortune. We have the Six of Wands and the Strength on the bottom of the deck. We've got, uh, you could be dealing with a Cancer or a Leo or any zodiac sign. You know what, Taurus? I just can't help it. I gotta share it with you. I often get phrases that come into my head, but I don't always share them. But I just can't resist it. The phrase that came into my head about this person is that they've got balls. <laughs> Male or female, absolutely doesn't matter. They've got balls. <laughs> you see, the thing is. Uh, there's two victory cards in the uh, tarot deck, and both of them are on the table, right? The chariot is one of them, and the six of ones is the second one, right? And before I started clarifying, before I clarified that chariot card, they came right after the other, right? <laughs> so <laughs> this person is coming in. I don't know what they did to you, but they're, they, it's like they're, they're coming in and they're gonna, they want to win you over. Like, and there's nothing that can stop them, you know? I, perhaps this person is uh, overly ambitious, you know, and you're going to turn them down, but they're coming in with the intention to win you back. That is their intention, right? And uh, I think this person is prepared to do whatever it takes, right? So those are the two victory <laughs> cards. <laughs> Judgment, the first card that came out, is the card of something, somebody coming back from the past. Strength on the bottom of the deck could be a Leo you're dealing with, or strength is a card of courage. Again, I don't know what this person did to you, but they they are very courageous <laughs> and hopeful, right? Um, yeah, um, the the Wheel of Fortune, clarifying the Chariot. Yeah, they want to start a new cycle with you. They really do. They really do want that new cycle with you, Taurus. Okay, so a very courageous <laughs> person is coming back. I don't know what you're gonna do, but we've got. Four major arcana cards on the table, right? And uh, the fifth card, which is not a major arcana card, that's six of ones, is a victory card, just like the chariot. All right? <laughs> so expect a very courageous move. All right? Cool. 
Let's talk about your work, your business, and your finances, uh, Taurus, this week. Uh, we have the Three of Swords, clarified by the Ace of Swords and the Hangman. We have the Wheel of Fortune, the Ten of Pentacles, and the, the Ten of Wands on the bottom of the deck. I don't know if you guys watched the um, couples spread I did in this reading, right? It usually precedes this spread. But it could. this spread right here could be about the same situation. Or it could be, you know, for others of you. Very similar energies, right? So we start off with the uh, Three of Swords. The Three of Swords is a card of a broken heart. So uh, some of you could be devastated because you didn't get the job or you got fired. I'm not predicting you being fired, no. If this happened, it already happened, right? And therefore, the Three of Swords is uh, something that already... Uh, happened. <laughs> Sorry for the tautology, <laughs> but it did happen. Anyway, and um, yeah, it's been taking a toll on you, right? The Ten of Wands on the bottom of the deck is a card of a burden, it's a card of a lot of responsibilities, or it's just tough on you, right? The Three of Swords, however, is classified by the Ace of Swords and uh, the Hangman. The Hangman is a situation that is stuck, that is not moving anywhere, so perhaps you've been uh, trying to uh, find a new job, you've been applying, you've been um, you know, sending out your resumes, going through uh, interviews, or perhaps, um, you know, you've applied for government assistance or something among those lines. Um, so the Ace of Swords uh, finally brings, brings clarity. Uh, the Ace of Swords is a card of a new beginning. Uh, the Ace of Swords is uh, the answer yes, right? And uh, the Wheel of Fortune, the next card over, is the start of a new cycle. Right? And uh, the Ten of Pentacles right next to the deck is one of the best cards when it comes to work, business, and finances. Right? This could literally be a pile of cash, well, <laughs> or real estate, or financial abundance. Right? So, yeah. If, you're, if, if you just recently experienced some kind of a heartbreak or a devastation, um, I think things are about to improve in a big, major way. All right? Cool. Let's see what you're not expecting to happen, uh, <clears throat> Taurus, this week. We have uh, the Seven of Pentacles, we have the Ace of Swords, clarified by Justice, we have the Three of Wands, clarified by the Six of Wands, and we, we also have the Four of Swords on the bottom of the deck. You could be dealing with a Libra. What you're not expecting is uh, for something to go in your favor. Yeah, there could be a decision or a verdict that goes in your favor. Right? And this is something you've been waiting for, anticipating, patiently. Perhaps it's been going on for a while. For others, for some of you, it could be literally a verdict from, the, from a court. Okay? Uh, the Seven of Pentacles, the first card that came out, is a card of waiting. And uh, the Four of Swords, um, on, the, on the bottom of the deck all the way to your right, that person is laying down because they're waiting. They can't proceed because of this decision that's like pending. Right? And uh, here comes the decision. The Ace of Swords, clarified by Justice, that's the, that's the decision, right? Justice could be a Libra you're dealing with, but uh, you see how Justice, the person in Justice, is holding up a sword? That's exactly the sword that we see in the Ace of Swords, right? And since the next two cards that came out were the Three of Wands and the Six of Wands, I believe this decision or verdict is going to go in your favor, because the Six of Wands is a card of victory and success, triumph, right? The Three of Wands is a card of um, you making future plans as a result of this uh, victory. right? For some of you, if you're up for a promotion at work, you could be getting that promotion. If you're up for a raise, you're going to be getting a raise. Or whatever it is you've been waiting for, it, which is not up to you, right? the decision is, is in somebody else's hands, then uh, it's happening this week. There will be that decision and it's going to go in your favor. All right, Doris, so yes, that's what I have for you for this uh, reading for this week. If this video resonates with you, please like it. Please also share and subscribe. And uh, other than that, Doris, have an amazing week.